Okay, so the banners for 2.5 have been announced, and it's interesting this time. We don't have, like, we don't have four banners, we've got three this update. So, for the first half, we have Yamiko. Hey, I want her, she looks like a fun sub DPS. And the second half, um, it, I'm gonna be funny, Chief, it, 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 it is just version 2.1 all over again. We have, uh, Sangonomiya Kokomi, my beloved, and Raiden Shogun. Also my beloved as well, she's pretty cool, but... We're going to be talking about each banner in this video, and uh, if you should pull for the characters, and, and like you know, just so you like have an idea of what the characters are kind of like and what you kind of need for them. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed today's video and you want to support me, you guys feel free to sub because only a small amount of you guys are subscribed. And yeah, you know, if you want to you know help support the content and help me get to 10k, which is my next big goal in, on my YouTube channel, you guys feel free to drop me a sub. You, of course, you don't have to feel obliged to, but let's get into it. So let's talk a bit about Yay Miko. So Yay Miko. Judging by her abilities, she looks more like a sub DPS who is good at starting and ending fights. This is mostly of what I've read because I've not. I, sadly, I missed the special program and I had to wait till 4 p.m. British time to, to watch it. So, yeah, uh, it enjoys the footage of me picking up pine cones, I guess. But so we, so she looks more like a sub DPS with her abilities, and they it seems to be like that you swarm enemies with like with electro um, little swarms, which I think is kind of cool. I mean, if, if what I've read is true and she is a sub DPS, then hey, I think she'd be pretty good on most teams. Now, I'm gonna say characters that will probably pair well with her because she's a sub DPS. So you can pair basically any DPS in the game with Yamiko. Now, the ones like the elements I'd recommend specifically for your DPS is a uh, sorry, but not not really Pyro because Pyro and Electro um, it kind of knocks enemies back, which could get in your way a bit. But, you know, I, I don't really, I'm not really sure if that matters too much. Um, you could also do Ice, well, Cryo for Superconduct, that could be okay. But the main one I'm thinking is maybe Hydro for Electrocharge. Now, uh, what Hydro DPS users do we have? Uh, I, have to, I mean, we have characters such as Tartalia, you know? Uh, that, that's about it, really. You could also probably run her and, like... I don't know, you could run her with, with basically every character. From, like, if she's a sub DPS, you could probably run her with, every, with anyone. So I'd, I'd mainly recommend Hydro, but should you pull on her? Hey, if you if you got a lot of characters already and you're mainly a vet, well you're not. A, I, wouldn't say, I don't want to say veteran because like people have a lot of characters from, from whaling, right? Like if you have a solid like if you have a solid team, if you've got a solid team of like eight you know characters you use already, and you know I feel like Yamiko would have some deep like some decent potential here and there. Like she'll be able to just you know fit into every team that you can possibly make. And I think that's gonna be pretty cool. I'm of course I'm gonna try and get her on release. Uh, um, I'm not. I probably won't get her on release because uh, I pulled on the Gandhi banner and I got Chi Chi C2. So yeah, it might be a while before I get her, but I hope to try and get her. And I hope to try and put her with most of my teams. But so she's gonna be pretty interesting. Should you pull on her? I'd say probably. Like try her out in the test domain. Consider what characters you have already, and if you've got if you've got like a couple solid DPS characters on your team, I'd say go for it. Now. Here, so the, the second half of the update is two characters that I do know about, which is the Raiden Shogun and Kokomi. Now, I was saying, oh yeah, Raiden Shogun and Kokomi, right, so they're both supportive characters, and Raiden fits into most team comps. She, I would even go as far to say she she's an S or S plus unit, because um, pe people didn't really uh, take, take my Taylor's video that well. Thanks, guys. But her main, like, focus is that she, well, her E... My talents are awful. I've just realised how bad this is. Um, so her E is just sort of you do coordinated electro damage, which I mean, look, it's not as high as Fischl, but her burst is what makes up for it. Like you, you do a bit of a coordinated attack damage, but you do also get an elemental burst like damage bonus for your um, Raiden Shogunal based off the energy expended by your team. So it's based on the total energy cost. So for example, Raiden Shogun's burst ninety energy, Kokomi seventy. Like, Ganyu 60, uh, as long as he's 40. So, you want to, like, it's not saying, you know, to, to get the maximum damage, you should, like, use characters that only have, like, the high energy cost. But, the, the more energy that your team expends, the more damage your Raiden Shogun burst is going to do. So, that's something to keep in mind. But, again, I don't really, like, you know, build my teams based off of energy costs. I build it based off of what's fun. But, the main thing is, it, it's, it's a sort It is so much. It, honestly, right? It is one of the most fun abilities in the entire game. I just love, like, just you know, just mindlessly slashing at people. And for every slash that you do, 
it does restore energy to your team. So, what you want, like, the ideal well, like, switch situation is, like, you know, you ult once, ult twice, ult three times. And let's say Hu Tao's energy is 60. Well, you can get maybe about a few hits in. I say you can do, I think you can get, like, about seven or eight hits in with your burst. Which means you're restoring about a free, like, 15 to 20 energy to your party. You know, with the range of And also, you'll get a bunch of electric particles or reaction particles as well off of it. So, basically, like, the Shogun's Burst is a really good battery filler, and that's what makes her a really good DPS to have. And what makes it even better is, is that her best set is the Emblem of Seven Fate, which means your Elemental Burst damage is increased by your energy recharge as well. So, you'll be building a lot of energy recharge, a lot of attack on her, so you'll probably have quite a high energy recharge value, which means you use your Burst, you, you, you slash up on times, and then your Burst will be back up again instantly, and it'll be on cooldown. So... And then it will refill your, your party's burst. So it's really good at increasing your overall team's DPS, I believe. Because of how, like, she manages to refill energy. Which means, ideally, you can run a, like, a DPS if you really want. I wouldn't recommend it for your, like, normal attack sake. But, uh, you, but like, she's, again, a bit like the Amiko. She is... I mean, it's not even like the Amiko. She's just a really good support that can go into any team, just like the Amiko. And I think that's really good to have as well. Like... She will get stronger as the game goes on. The more more characters you get, the more more versatile she can get as well. So I would say, right, is the Raider Shogun a must-pull? I would say yes. Honestly, she's a must-pull. I absolutely love her. I don't know if I'll go for Constellations, because I feel like Venti or Ayato is coming around the corner. So, But listen, C0 Raider Shogun is really good. As for Constellations, right, C1's okay, but the main thing that like people are going for, are, okay, it's going to be a C2 or a C3. Again, if you like doing a lot of damage, her C2 is apparently pretty good, and her C3 is also really, like, decent as well. Not as good as her C2, but her C3 is really decent. So, overall, right, Raiden Shogun, beautiful unit, would recommend, probably even a must-pull, I must say. But, yeah, go for it, honestly. Next up is Kokomi. Now, listen, Kokomi is my beloved. You would know that because I, I put her into S+, plus, even though, like, you know, that's against the wishes of probably everyone involved. Is she free to play friendly? I, I mean, kinda. The prototype Amber, it's a good free to play weapon. Same with Raiden Shogun, I forgot to mention it. Um, you can use the catch, but I'm using prototype Star Glitter. But prototype Amber, you know, it's good. Hell, if you don't have prototype Amber, you don't have any prototype things, just go for any Tales of Dragon Slayers. It genuinely, Kokomi's healing is based off her, rate, off her HP, and then her burst gives her extra normal attack damage based on her HP. So, Friendly Tales of Dragon Slayers or prototype Amber is actually fairly solid for her. Artifacts, I mean, you could. I, I'm doing two-piece Tenacity, two-piece Ocean Hue Clamp. I don't think that's how you should do it. Uh, you can probably go four-piece, so you do a bit of extra damage. You know, so that, that can be pretty good. But for the overhealing, because Kokomi will overheal you quite a lot. So I would recommend four-piece Ocean Hue, but I don't have any good Ocean sets, and I've not been farming artifacts in the last two updates. So, yeah, my account's a bit behind here. So overall, right... It's very solid. Constellations, I, I haven't really, I didn't really look into it, Chief. Uh, I, I think, like, you get a Hydro Damage bonus, and then you get a Funny Fish at C1. I mean, they're okay. Uh, and then for a Talents, Normal Attack, it's the same ratios as Barb. Actually, no, Mona and Barb are the same. I can't remember how close ratios these are, but it's 1, 2, 3. Um, this, it heals you for quite a lot. 6.2% of our max HP at level 6. I mean, 6%. Of 29k, I mean, you're, you're healing for like, I don't know, 3k, 3k health with the plus 7, like, I don't know, you're healing for a solid, like, a good amount at very, like, quick, like, intervals as well, the ripple damage, it, it, it's not the greatest, but the duration is also really good for freeze teams, so, if you don't have a Mona, and you want to do a freeze comp, you can use Kokomi for a freeze comp, I think the duration is just slightly longer as well, so, it could be okay. And her burst does increase her normal and charge attack damage as well, which is actually fairly good. Because, you like, she's not going to be doing, like, your DPS number of damage. She's not going to be doing Raiden Shogun, like, sword number of damage. But, it's still not bad. Like, you, like it, it is usable. Like, you can run her with Bado. Like, I've seen Kokomi main DPS before from Tectone, and it, and it worked amazingly. So, look. We don't, like, trust the process. It can be pretty good. And also, she can walk on water. I've never seen anyone walk on water, like, with her. But, you know, it is what it is. Oh, and also, she can't crit. My, my Kokomi has a negative 88% crit rate. I, I, I forgot it's a major fact about her. But, listen, the flat damage, 
it's, it's, it's okay, you know, it's, it's usable. So would you, would I consider Hokumi a must pull? I'm going to say no. Now you're thinking, Fred, why? But you love her. Well, listen, there's a lot of healers in Genshin Impact. I said Kokomi is S+, plus and Barbara exists. Like, you know, you can get the same, you can get the same healing from Barbara. If you like Kokomi, of course, by no means, you know, you should go for her. Like, if you love Kokomi, like, go for her. She's great. But there's also a lot of other healing options out there, and to waste a five-star slot on a healer, I, I don't, I don't know, man. I mean, I say this while I own Jean as well, but I, I don't feel like she's like as strong of a pull as Yay Miko or the Raiden Shogun. So that's just my take on it. But let me know down below, right? Are you guys gonna be pulling on any of these banners? Because Ayato also got drip fed this morning, and I I'm probably making a video about how many primos you can save because. Yeah, I saw a couple comments asking for it in my yeah, Miko video already, so I'm going to be probably doing that tomorrow. But yeah, I hope everyone's having a great day. Let me know, are you guys pulling for these characters? Are you excited for 2.5? Because I, I kind of am. You know, I say this every update, but I am kind of excited to try out some of the new stuff in this update. So yeah, I hope you're having a great day, everyone. Take care, and I'll see you guys in another video really soon. Have a good one, everyone.